So we probably know people that uh, collect cables and save every cable they've ever owned just in case they might need it someday. Welcome, dear friends, to the hush-hush world of the secret society of cable hoarders. This isn't your average hobby or mundane collector's club. No, this is the elite, the proud, the few who understand the true value of old cables. And if you like going to garage sales, you'll notice there's always a box or large boxes filled with tangled cables that the sellers expect you to pick through for cables that usually leave you guessing what they may have connected to, proving that this cable collecting addiction is more widespread than imagined. First, let's talk about our members. These aren't your run-of-the-mill hoarders. These are visionaries, seers of a future where there is one specific cable you threw away three years ago that will be the key to saving the technological world. They are the guardian of the VGA, the protectors of the parallel port, the keepers of the SCSI. The collection is vast and varied. A rainbow of USB cables from the ancient USB-A to the mythical USB-B, not to mention the countless mini and micro variants. Each one carefully coiled and stored because who knows when you might need to connect a 2005 digital camera to a 2020 laptop. Then there are the Ethernet cables, a colorful tangle of Cat5, Cat6, Cat7, and the elusive Cat8. They're kept just in case the Wi-Fi apocalypse hits and we need to build a new internet from scratch. Each hoarder has at least three different lengths because you never know when you'll need to connect something two feet away or at the top of a small tower. And let's not forget the crown jewels of the collection, the extinct species of cables, the SCSI cables, the IDE cables for devices so ancient, they're practically fossilized. The Firewire, a relic from the era when data transfer felt like sending a letter via carrier pigeon. And the ever mysterious collection of assorted power adapters, each one with a different voltage, different amperage, different connector, suitable for powering army of long dead electronics. But the true spirit of the cable hoarder isn't just in the collecting, it's in the belief. The belief that one day, someone, somewhere, will need that exact cable. And on that day, they will rise like a tech wizard, diving into their hoard and emerging triumphantly with the perfect cable saving the day. So here's to the secret society of cable hoarders. May your collections grow, your tangles multiply, and your sense of purpose never waver. For in the world obsessed with wireless, you are the unsung heroes, keeping the legacy of the cable alive. Just remember, when the moment comes and someone desperately needs a VGA to HDMI with a dual-link DVI support, you'll be ready.